They're just a part of the West, part of the way we are. I, if, if they're gone, a part of us is gone. Iconic species like the pronghorn, the fastest land mammal, one of the most beautiful species we have. When that goes, what's next? It was kind of a, a line drawn in the sand by the landowners, by the conservation organizations like ours and Texas Parks and Wildlife, saying we're not going to let this, this species diminish during our watch. And through landowners uh, like we're working with today, basically they started a restoration program. Habitat fragmentation, urban sprawl, uh, water shortages, there's just a lot of challenges that are coming uh, that we're, we need to be prepared for. Whether it's drought, disease, fencing, predation, it's not like it was 50 years ago. We're out here outside of Dalhart, Texas, not too far from the Oklahoma border in the northern panhandle region of Texas, and we're capturing pronghorn to not only help alleviate populations up here because they have a surplus of individuals, but also take them down to the Trans-Pecos region to help restore populations down there, which have dwindled over the past decades. Pronghorn are the fastest land animals in North America. They can run up to 50, 60 miles per hour. I'm not for sure how fast they're running when the helicopters are getting them, but from what it looks like, you know, I'd say at least 40 miles an hour. 20 and 30 miles an hour is a nice trot for them. So the helicopter will find a group, fly, and then shoot a net gun on individuals. And then land. They'll secure them, they'll, they'll put hobbles on them, or like belts around their legs. They'll blindfold them, help keep them calmer. We'll give them an injection of Haldol, which is a sedative. Pronghorn are very high strung. This helps them calm down so they're not as jumpy. And they'll put them in special carrying packages. And they'll do that to a couple of them, and then hook them up individually on ropes, and then hook what they call a long line to the helicopter, and fly them in, or sling them in, as they call it and then gently land them near our processing area. We have multiple tables set up. That's to help us process or take different data from the animals. There's four stations. At each station, we have a, a vet. They're gonna be taking different blood samples, uh, taking different tissue samples, and they'll be giving them medicine as well. The blood samples help us test for diseases or just kind of give us different levels of cortisol to test for stress. A, a good many of these animals are fitted with radio collars so we can track them, uh, check for any more uh, post-capture mortalities or predation or anything that might occur. So when they're dropped off to when they finish the table, we try to keep that in under three and a half minutes per individual. Then they're carried to a trailer. Once we have a, a trailer full, uh, they take off for, from ARFA. By the time uh, they get there, the effect of the sedative should be wearing off, uh, so they're unloaded from the trailer. Uh, we have a veterinarian on site there to, uh, to check the animals, make sure nothing happened in the route. These are the kind of projects that you dream of. You know, something very tangible, something very rewarding. When we open those, those trailer gates and watch those animals uh, get off in the middle of the night and then go check on them in the morning, that's, that's why we do what we do. One of the unique things about this region is we have a very diverse megafauna. So we have pronghorn, bighorn sheep, black bears, mountain lions, elk, all these species used to be in, in much more significant numbers than they are today, and we're seeing this resurgence of these species, 
and we're trying to help facilitate that resurgence to bring that wildness back to West Texas. There have been pronghorn here all my life. They were a part of the landscape then, and I'd like to see them continue to be a part of the landscape of, of West Texas. I want to see my kids, grandkids, and great-grandkids should be able to experience pronghorn.